Howdy y'all, and welcome back to I Am A Champion. So, I know that you've uh, noticed, well maybe you haven't, but maybe some of you have noticed that every few days or so I'm trying to highlight other people who I consider to be champions. And today I wanted to take some time out as we are nearing the end of our series to highlight some people who are in some way in my life who have also dealt with recovery and hardships mostly from falls but other medical conditions as well in the year 2017 alongside me. I wanted to highlight them because their struggles have either been something that we could pray together over or have common ground over and in some cases really put perspective on what I was dealing with. So in somewhat chronological order I thought I would mention some of them and maybe bless them a little bit today. So here we are. I wrote them down because my memory is a little bit weak right now still. So one of the people that's really been a big inspiration to me this last year as he's been fighting through this is Russell, who you've already heard me talk about. He's a baby who was born the same day as my fall. So he is one year old now. Uh, I guess he's getting into toddler age. And he was born with a medical condition that it's not really my place to talk about too much, but he has really had to fight through that. He and his mom and dad have really been amazing fighters, prayer warriors, and listening ears during this whole time. It's been a sweet thing to have a recovery buddy, even if he is an infant slash toddler. I don't really know when you start changing the term. Um, so I'm so grateful to Russell and his parents for being there and really putting my life into perspective a little bit during this, as well as having somebody else who kind of understands this time of hardship at the same exact time as me. Another person who fell around the same time as me but injured themselves far greater is my friend Michael. Um, for privacy reasons, I won't mention too many last names in this because I think that's important. But uh, he's a fellow actor. He lives in a different state, but he fell at, on ice and he broke his neck. And he has been having to fight through to do the simplest things as holding utensils again. And he is still trying to get back to walking. He's been trying to use the space suit in the past I saw on his Facebook. And Michael, I'm still praying for you. I'm still rooting for you. And I know I don't write on your Facebook very much because I want to give you that space to really recover instead of having to reply to everybody on Facebook. But you are on my heart and you are on my mind, and your my prayers are with you, my, my friend. And uh, another person that has been a big part of my life that uh, has been dealing with difficulties for nearly the same amount of time as me is my dear friend Nancy. She fell uh, about the same week, maybe a few weeks later, and injured her shoulder, rotator cuff area, I believe her collarbone as well. So we compared war stories in a way, or injury stories, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. And she's been struggling a lot this last year uh, with the recovery. She is older, so it's been more difficult. Uh, she has a passion for playing the guitar, I mean, sorry, piano. And it has taken that away from her for a while. I, I've heard that she's been able to start again. And I am so excited for you if that's still true, Nancy. If not, I'm still praying for you that you can continue to keep playing that because I know how much it means to your heart. And you are a fighter and a champion, and I'm so grateful for you in my life. Uh, one person that was kind of surprised to me was actually thanks to Instagram. They suggested this Instagram uh, profile of uh, Laura... Pilates, Laura B. Pilates, I think is her handle. And her husband, Johnny Grant, uh, he was a Marine. And this is all public knowledge, so that's why I'm sharing it. This is on Instagram publicly. And he was in a car accident beginning of 2017, and he had a traumatic brain injury. And it has really been inspiring me to watch you, Laura, um, really be such a loving wife to Johnny during this and have such an amazing, hopeful spirit during all this. I only started following Laura a few months ago. 
uh, but I did see her recommended a few times throughout the year before that, and uh, really watching his progression and seeing how far he's come in this last year has really touched my heart, and I am still praying for you guys. Stay strong, stay strong Johnny Grant. And, uh, yeah, so the next person I want to talk about, of course, is my mom. And I'm starting to get more emotional as I go through this, so I'm sorry if I kind of choke up a little bit, but these people really mean so much to me, even, even if we aren't in each other's immediate lives, like Michael and uh, a few others, but it really has put my life in so much perspective that I'm getting a little emotional. I didn't expect to. Sorry. Um, my mom. She's been a champion in my life my whole life. I am so grateful to have her as my mom, to have somebody who understands living life since childhood with uh, some challenge or another. Well, my mom's challenges were different than mine uh, throughout the years in different ways. A lot of our lives are very similar, and she's been my rock through a lot of this, and she's been someone who really believes in me and has helped me believe in myself and has taught me so much about faith during this time, the times of struggle. And uh, strangely enough, I fell in January and injured my neck and shoulder. And she fell in September and broke her hip, injured her elbow and ankle, I do believe, all on the same side. And so we've really kind of had to deal with recovery together over the last... I believe it's been five months now, and it's been interesting to watch when you're both recovering at the same time, and thank you, Mom, for being a champion in my life, both for me and for yourself, and for showing me the examples of how to keep strong in faith that God's got this, and for lifting me up and praying for me, even as you yourself need a prayer. Um... It's been, it's meant so much to me, and I love you dearly, and uh, you are one of my many champions, but definitely one of the top. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and also, my grandpa uh, fell on Thanksgiving, believe it or not. Apparently, falls run in our family, at least in 2017, but we had three. We're done, right? That's the rule of the numbers. <laughs> um, not that I believe in superstition, but yeah. My grandpa has been a fighter this year and has really been a fighter for the past almost 20 years since my grandmother passed away. And um, it's been hard to see him really fighting through this because I know in his 90s it is really hard to deal with a broken hip and deal with this huge change of life that he's had to go through in the past five years or so. And... I love him dearly. He's my little impish elf, I like to call him. I love you, Grandpa. And last but certainly not least, and not really in chronological chronological order, but uh, my dear friends, Patty and Bob, I know there wasn't a fall that really had this happen, and I know it didn't just happen this year, but um, my dear friends at church, they had... She has Alzheimer's, and it has been getting more and more and more difficult this last year, and the progression has gotten pretty bad. But every time I see her, she's got this amazing smile and love. I love you, Patty. I love you, Bob. And I wish I could give you a hug right this moment. I missed you today, but um, know that you are in our thoughts and our prayers. And I am so blessed every time I see you be able to come on Sunday morning. And my heart aches every time I don't see you on a Sunday morning because I know that that means you've had a harder day. So those are my highlights of champions, specifically from 2017 and this year. There are many other champions in my life that um, I've highlighted a few, and I may highlight more later. I don't know. But... Those are the ones that have really been on my heart, and I wanted to give a shout out to all of them. You all are champions, 
and I am grateful to have you as examples and some of you as prayer partners. And yeah, I don't know how to end this again, but I just want to say thank you. And this was just my little way of doing that. Hashtag I am a champion. And hashtag I am abled because I am as able. Thanks for watching. God bless.